Today, we are going for a bike ride with three-time gold medal, Olympic medal champion, Kristen Armstrong. Let's go outdoors. Today we're in Roanoke and it'll be a bike ride, but it'll be a special bike ride with three-time Olympic gold medalist, Kristen Armstrong. And Kristen has uh, several amazing storylines. First of all, uh, she is a mother and she had some issues that she wants to talk about in terms of making the Olympic team again after she decided to have a family. I'm gonna ask her about that and also, the fact that she won her final gold medal after she was 40 years old. And I wanna ask her if she thinks it's fair to compare her accomplishment with some of the accomplishments of some of the well-known, say, NFL players like Tom Brady, who continue to have success after 40. Ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Riding bikes with Kristen Armstrong is like riding with royalty. Bike pathways. She won an Olympic gold in the time trial in Beijing in 2008, then again in London in 2012, then Rio in 2016. The most decorated female cyclist in U.S. history. So what is life like for a three-time gold medalist now that that part of your life has sort of come and gone? <laughs> well, I think that when I look back at, at training and, and racing bikes. As much as I hate to say this, I think that was the easy life. <laughs> but even that life wasn't so easy, and it wasn't just the training. After Beijing, she retired to start a family. Her son, Lucas, is 12 now, but then he was an infant. It was only about six weeks after having Lucas where I announced coming out of retirement. It was about 22 months before London. She recently explained at the annual dinner for Visit Virginia's Blue Ridge that she then had to break additional barriers. I mean, to travel with my family, to show up with my baby, <laughs> just so you know, it, it's not allowed. But she tells me she made it, even with new responsibilities. I was still breastfeeding and I was traveling to the airport to my first race and my husband would take him at the start line right when I cross the finish line. Of course, you got to do what you got to do. Kristen Armstrong has passed the Marianne Voss now. now it's On race day, she beat the world and won a number of other battles. And the best part, not only did I get to stand on the podium, I got to stand on the podium with my son. Then came Rio and a new struggle. She was now over 40. So when I turned 40, it, it, it wasn't necessarily viewed by everyone as a positive. Right. Well, but I mean, um, but the, the difference is, is that when Lance Armstrong came back out of retirement over 40, it was the coolest thing ever. So explain that to me. But we know the results. Gold. The day before her 43rd birthday. Is it fair to compare you to Tom Brady? Do yeah. people do that all yeah, the time? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, like, Brett Favre, Favre, I come out of retirement right. twice, Tom Brady. Riding around Roanoke, I had to ask how the city stacked up cycling-wise. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you can't beat the cycling around here. I was out on the Blue Ridge Parkway yesterday. <laughs> how do you like our mountains? Oh yeah, they're great. They're very rolling. Armstrong hasn't slowed in the slightest since retiring from competitive cycling. She's coaching cyclists, has opened two gyms, travels the nation speaking, and serves as a high-performance consultant and mentor to the now Roanoke-based Team 2024, which over its history has produced 14 Olympians. I am continue to be part of my dear friend Nicola Cranmer's program, which is Virginia's Blue Ridge 2024 cycling team and that this is truly the next generation the team is filled with junior development it's filled with elite athletes who are going to world championships winning national championships going to the olympic games in paris if anything armstrong hasn't slowed her pace at all 
She jokes that she has a type AAA personality and simply cannot sit still. I just go ride and She also admits it's a mistake to challenge her, as many did when she twice came out of retirement. Are you bitter about that? No, because I always keep focused and honed in on what my goals are. This is a sterling performance by Kristen Armstrong. You mentioned that you proved them wrong. <laughs> yeah. She wins gold again. And now she is a three-time gold medalist. And I learned a long time ago that if you're in the sport or you're in business to prove other people something, you're in it for the wrong reason. So it does fuel my fire. And so that is one thing. Though I'm not in the sport to prove people wrong, I, um, it does like really accelerate my, <laughs> my desire. <laughs> Through it all, she places being a mother first, from including Lucas in her Olympic endeavors to picking him up at school. There are those who believe that you should stop doing anything that uh, your goals that you have set out for yourself and that everything should go towards your newborn or your children. And I, you know, when that comes up, I think of it as, oh no, I feel that continuing on with some individual goals will only provide more for my son because he's, I'm leading by example. I can't imagine my career and having to explain to my son, oh, before you were born, I used to be because he was able to live part of this experience with me. And so he learned so much from that. So what happens when someone devotes Olympic champion caliber training to regular life? People question me. They're like, what are you doing? Like, aren't you going to like chill out and relax? And I would go home thinking, should I be chilling out and relaxing? But the minute I have like an hour of downtime, I create, my mind creates like five more things to do. A lot of times in life we complain about, we're so busy, we're so this, but you know, for the p person who thrives off of being busy, try being bored. Oh, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> no, I would say that. Kristen Armstrong, breaking records, breaking barriers, and she still isn't finished. Outdoors, John Carlin, 10 News, working for you.